Okay, here we are. We are back with more Metal Gear Solid. Right now, we need to get some, uh, we need to figure out what wounds we have to, uh, attend to here. So, I don't want to go into my backpack. I want to go into the cure. And inject serum again, huh? We got more leeches. There we go. So, we are going to... There we go. As you can see here, we picked up our uniform animals. Which you could only get by, uh... Of course, what do you call it? Non-lethal approach. Now, I don't know... Let's see... I don't think I have it equipped. We're going to go to our backpack and get our cigar out. Which I think we do have our cigar equipped. Yep. Cigar actually makes it a little bit easier to see where you're going. But it also drains your life. Let's see? So you got to kind of watch out for this. Now I gotta remember, where did I start from? I started from right here. So here we go. So I'm taking a look at my health, and I'm trying to figure out how to stay alive, of course, and not get too low on my health. There's a little hole there. This always took me uh, quite a bit of time to figure out uh, before. I, I, I can remember that I never used my actual cigar. I can't remember why. Maybe I just didn't know it at the time because there really wasn't any uh, guides or things like that. So we got battery, but that's pretty much, I guess, all that is right here. Because I don't think you can climb that. Yeah, which is really stupid. It's right there and you can't climb it. So you do kind of have to go back and go that little route right up here. There it is. And you can kind of obviously see a little bit better now. And you got stamina just like you did in all the other ones and it will drain and then it will slowly start taking your life. You can't be underwater for too long, you know, just like the normal stuff. So here I am, now where do I need to go? I can't quite remember. I think that's... It's where I just came from. So it doesn't look like right here is where we're going. Let me make sure. Yeah. So there's got to be another way. I'm not looking at any guides, I'm just trying to go purely off of what I remember here. <laughs> Which might make this a little bit difficult. So that's... So if we went back this way... I know all you guys are like, just go around the corner or something. Trying to tell me where it is. So now we're obviously back in the area where we started, so let's try this way. Seems like this could be a way. There's a hole there. Here's another way here. Looks like we might be getting closer somewhat torch wave with B button press repeatedly to swing around well I think we could definitely use the torch so we're gonna use that we're gonna equip our backpack again and figure out where the torch is I think it's over here I do not see a torch so it must be over here. Here we go. So if we're going to have the torch, we obviously don't need to kill ourselves with cigars. Yeah. 
And now at least we have a torch to help us see. Will this make it any better? I don't know. Looks like there's a little place to go. And I just fell. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was great. However, there is a little hole right here. Well, let's see where this hole goes. I think we might have just hit the jackpot. Reaching higher ground. It's kind of funny that I've been sitting here trying to figure out where to go. I can't tell if he's dead or not. He's, uh, he's dead now. Okay, I think we're actually making it. Yep, we haven't been in here. Pretty sure I don't want to head down there. Yeah, there we go. Now we're moving on up. I think it should be easy peasy from here. Yep. All right. That's what this thing likes to do. It likes to trick you. So I know I need to go up and this way and then straight. There we go. Okay, this is it. So, looks like we are at the very end of this. It took us forever. I'm not sure if I edited anything out as far as it taking me through the caves or whatnot. I'm sure you guys didn't want to see all that. But we finally made it through, and now we have the boss fight. So, this is where I'm going to save and hope for the best. Do you want to save? Snake, have you seen 007 from Russia with Love? I don't like those movies. Real spies are nothing like James Bond. It's pure fantasy. Snake, I don't think the Major's going to like you saying that. And even though it's fiction, I can't help but comparing myself to Bond. What exactly don't you like about James Bond? I mean, is it the fantastic gadgets? The cars? The guns? Major. Snake, wouldn't you like to have a gun shaped like a pen? What good is a pen gonna do me in the jungle? I'd look like a fool. Then what about a snake-shaped gun? You can make it look like you're grappling with a giant snake and then get a shot in on the enemy while they're distracting. <laughs> okay, now you're being ridiculous. We'll make you a snake-shaped gun that folds up and fits into an attaché case. Will you give it a rest? Oh, I get it. You're worried about how to handle the ladies, aren't you? No. I knew it. Hmm. To tell you the truth, I don't like the idea of playing hanky-panky with enemy femme fatales either. But that's part of Bond's appeal. You could learn a thing or two from him. I mean, what about this Eva? What are you planning to do with her? I... I don't even trust her yet. No, that's not what I mean. You... you can't let yourself get involved. This is a game of spy versus spy. She's using you just as much as you're using her. I realize that. You've got to grab the initiative. And to do that, you have to get the upper hand in the relationship. That's what a spy is supposed to do. Get the upper hand? I don't think I'm cut out for that mission. Maybe if you change your code name to 00 Snake. Major. 007 is the biggest thing to come out of England since the Mayflower. I wouldn't be surprised if they made 20 more of those movies. Didn't you know? The Major is a huge James Bond fan. Don't get him worked up like this. Worked up? Maybe you don't realize this, but now that you've got him started talking about Bond, I'm going to have to listen to him lecture for a whole hour after he gets off the radio. You have my sympathy. It's too bad you can't enjoy such a great movie, though. I guess I'm just one of those people who can't enjoy spy flicks.
We are the sons of the boss! Ha! I am the pain! Ha! I will guide you to a world of anguish beyond your imagination! Okay, here we are. Ooh, he looks like he's about ready to throw something. Whee! What the hell? Whoa. It's kind of weird to control sometimes. What the freak? <laughs> is he conducting? What the hell is he doing? That was weird. Tommy God. Uh oh, Tommy again. All right, we gotta work our way around here. Yeah, these controls are really just like weirding me out. It just keeps going back. You run away. Grenade. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I don't know why the controls do that. Okay, we got him down halfway though. It's not a very. He's conducting, I swear to God, he's conducting. I know you guys might think this is like really easy, and it pretty much is. It's not like it's hard or anything. My main thing is trying to be really stealthy. Oh shit. Okay, what am I going to do now? He's about halfway drained. Get him! And have to find a place where you can't see us. Oh, I'm a good hider. Man, these controls sometimes. Said. Okay, so I need to get under here. There he is. Hey! Oh, he's almost dead now. Got him. There we go. Sweet. Okay, there we go. So, what we need to do is we need to 
figure out how we're going to get over there. So we got to get there. Okay, that seems pretty easy. Because we need to get his camo. He's got special camo because we defeated him the non-lethal way again. Let me make our way up here. And do a bail roll. Okay. Ah, oh, quick question. Which way did I come in? <laughs> I don't even know which way I came in. Well, let's look at the map here. That way I could find out. Okay, so... X, does that mean... I'm guessing it's that way. So we just need to, wherever I'm looking at is the way to go. Wait, no, destination. X, turn around, gotcha. I'm smarter than the average bear. So that is where I need to go. See, it goes straight down. That's so weird. So I would definitely say that, as far to me, the best controls are uh, pretty much Metal Gear Solid 4. Because it's kind of got like the mixture of everything that you want in a third person shooter. I'm hoping this is the right way. Yeah, it's the right way. Okay, here we are. Just gotta watch out for these other enemies that might be coming up soon. I'm not, I can't even remember what's up ahead or what we're actually going to be doing next. Oh, is that a claymore right there? Hell yeah, it is. Oh my god, I barely saw that too. I could have given away my position or everything. Alright. And I didn't get anything that's even in there. I wonder, can you shoot this right here? Yes, you can. It's a mushroom. And we do not want to fall, do we? One thing I also love is the third person view. You guys remember this person view? Oh, yes. The dreaded old. Metal Gear Solid camera view drove me crazy. I don't see how people can uh, play with this view. And I'm going to have to do it when I go back to Metal Gear Solid 2. And that's going to be that's going to be difficult, but I'll make it work. Okay, so we got enemies as you can see up here. We'll see if we can actually get to him or not. <laughs> it kills him either way. We're under fire. Enemy position unknown. Commencing alert status. Okay, there's another guy here. Keep your eyes open. So I'm alerted, but they're not really, you know, they don't know where I am, so I think I'm still pretty good. There we go. I think it's pretty much as, as if they actively know that you're in the area. 
That is really what you want to watch for. Oh, there's another keratin. Whatever you call him. Kermit the Frog. I'm sure I've missed one or two. I didn't plan on getting them all. It's just fun shooting those things as they keep coming out and stuff. Now, I remember this little scene here, kind of from the battle that you do with the Sorrow. Kind of reminiscent of it where you're just walking down this path. So, when I play, like, uh, I'm going to say, when I do my Metal Gear Solid 4 walkthrough, I'm going to try to do that on one of the hardest difficulties, because that is a game that I want to put the difficulty up big time, because I played that so much, and I'm still kind of familiar with it. It's still in my mind and whatnot, and I just love that playthrough so much. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are at one of the best parts in the game. Now, if I continue to walk straight, there's going to be a nice long cutscene where we're going to meet one of our next bosses, and actually really all of the bosses will uh, make an appearance. And we can actually end one of the boss fights rather quickly. However, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the left here, and we're going to get the weapon that is required for us to beat him before we actually need to. And you're going to see what I'm talking about up ahead here. There are a few enemies in this section as well. So I have to watch out for them. I'm not sure how many there are. Maybe one or two. So we got our weapon. And there might be one more over here. I love how you can also shoot the radio out. You can actually shoot the radio from them, which is really cool. I think it's in that little building in there. I'm not sure how do we get... Can we just climb? Yeah, we can climb. There's a few things scattered throughout here. Stun gun. Okay, looks like that's about it. <laughs> Sometimes these controls can be really weird. Definitely don't need our cigar. Now, I am not sure if... Let's see. I think it's in here. Yep, there it is. I can't believe I still remember this, too. Bam. SVD. Sniper rifle. And that is exactly the, uh, the weapon that we actually need to kind of finish the end off early. Let me pretty much explain it to you while I got the chance. There's a cutscene up ahead. Shows all the characters. It's, it's rather long. It's like a good 10-15 minute cutscene. And what happens is you have an opportunity to kill one of the bosses that you'll face later on in the game. And if you do it, you'll blow him up and he won't appear in that part of the game. However, if you fail, then he pretty much will appear and you'll have to do this long... Excuse me. I <laughs> just burped. This long, drawn-out uh, battle, which could take a very long time unless you change your clock and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool how uh, it works out, which I'll explain that later. So, we're going to end our little playthrough right here, and I'm going to save it. And hopefully I'm going to get it on the first try. Uh, I can't remember if... I think I, I've done it before on uh, like one of the first times I played the game, but I wasn't sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did it. So I'm going to go ahead and save right here, and then the next time you guys see it, we're going to start the cutscene, and we're hopefully going to be able to defeat the end and uh, be able to continue our playthrough. So thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, and we will see you on the next exciting episode. You want to save? Snake, have you heard of The Last War? Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. 
It's a Japanese movie where the world ends in a nuclear war. Tensions between East and West reach the breaking point, and before anyone can stop it, they launch the ICBMs. Humanity is wiped out by a war that no one wanted. The movie depicts that destruction from the eyes of ordinary people. Their simple daily lives are torn apart by the terrible power of a war that has nothing to do with them. Everybody's afraid of the next big war, but there's only so much that one person can do. That's why the people who have the power to stop it have to.